In this video, you're going to learn how to swap between multiple images on Hover using some custom code with Elementor. Now this is what we're going to be creating. So as you can see, whenever I hover on this image, it's going to swap between four images. And then whenever I hover out, it's going to go back to the original image. Now that's what we're going to be creating there. It's fairly simple and it's going to be a pretty quick video. So hopefully you guys find this video helpful. If you do, make sure to like it for the YouTube algorithm. It only takes you a few seconds and it helps me out quite a bit. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my videos just like this one. Now I hope you guys enjoy. So let's begin. So I'm just using an Elementor template here and I added a couple images using the new container feature. But realistically, all we need is just an image. You don't need to be using the container feature. I just added that um, just because I thought it was pretty cool. So what you need to do first is go ahead and grab your image and just drag it into your um, editor. And then choose the image that you want. So I'm just going to delete this because I already have my first image that I'm going to use. And go ahead and select the image that you want to use um, before people hover. So that's going to be your first image. And then obviously we're going to go ahead and swap between um, three images, including the first one, which is going to be four. So make sure you have that set up there. And then go into advance on your image. And then all we need to do is just add a CSS class. And we're going to call this CSS class IMG stands for image dash swap. Okay. And also one thing to note is make sure that all of your images are the same size because you're going to have some sizing issues whenever you're hovering over your images. So just keep that in mind. In the future, I will probably release a video where I go over how to swap between a background overlay but that will be in the future, like I mentioned. So um, once you have your CSS class added, go ahead and click update because that's realistically all we need to do. And then now we just need to add our custom code. So there's two ways of doing this and it really depends if you have Elementor Pro. So if you don't have Elementor Pro, what you need to do is go ahead and search for your HTML element and drag that right into your um, editor here. But make sure this is very important that you add it right under your image. It has to be under your image for it to work. Um, so just keep that in mind in case you're having any issues because I've seen that in the past where people try this and it doesn't work for them. So just make sure that it's always under your image. Okay. Um, and then drag that in and then just add your HTML code here. But since I have the pro version, I'm going to actually add it within my Elementor code um, snippet um, feature that they have with Elementor. So I'm going to click update. And instead of just going straight to the dashboard um, on this tab, I'm actually going to open up a new tab. And go into your dashboard here, go into Elementor and then go ahead and click on custom code. And this is where we're going to add our custom code snippet. So go ahead and click add new. Now, like I mentioned, if you've done the pro version, just add it within your um, HTML element. And then we're going to call this um, image. Yeah, image swap hover. I know you can call it multiple image swap, but this is just what I'm going to call it. And make sure that you have it on the body end. Now grab your code that um, I have in the description. Just click the link and you'll be redirected to the code. And um, just copy it in. I have to type in a script tag, um, but that will be included within the code anyway. So just paste it right in, right in here. Um, Paste that right in. So now we just need to make some adjustments and I will go over the code just because it's very important. So then you know how to add things. Um, so you know how to add multiple images if in case you need to add more than four images. So let's go into our media here. And then let's go ahead and choose the images that we want to add. 
into our code that we want to swap. So just remember by default, we have um, our first image, so we don't need to do that. So we just need to add these three images here. So I'm gonna do maybe, um, let's do this one for the second one. So just make sure you copy your URL right here, click on it. Um, go back into your code. And then right here, this is, um, this is gonna be the first one. So, or sorry, the, well, technically the second image, but just paste that in between these, uh, these single quotes. Paste that right in there. All right. And then let's go ahead and grab our next image. Just gonna be this one here. I think uh, we can leave that one, that's fine. That could be their third one. So let's add that right in here. Perfect. And then our very last one, our fourth one, it's gonna be this one. And we're gonna add this one right in here. Now, now that I've added that, it's almost done. We just need to go back and add our first image. So this part is important because we want it to default back to our first image right after they hover or after they move their, um, their cursor away from the image. So we're gonna go back to our default image and we're gonna copy that URL and we're gonna paste it right in here. So this is after they um, mouse out, which is after they move their mouse away from the image, it's gonna default back. So this is very important. Okay, so let me just go over the code here. So right now we're targeting our, um, our image class, as you can tell, image swap, that's the class that we added um, and it targets the image in inside of our um, image swap so and then from here we just have an event listener for a mouse over um, now we don't really need this I actually do need to remove this that won't be included in the code so don't worry about that um, and then we're gonna have um, image container source set I know that most of the time you could just use um, source SR SRC but with, Ele but with the Elementor Builder, for some reason, they have it set on source set. So that's why I added it within the source set um, in case you're having issues with that. But I don't think you will. And then we're just targeting our, um, our first image. So that's right when someone hovers, it's going to just change to this image right away. And then right here, we have a set timeout. Now, this is just 300 milliseconds. So after 300 milliseconds, we're gonna swap to our next image here. And then the same thing with uh, this one here, after 600 milliseconds, it's gonna swap to our other image. It's pretty straightforward. Now let's say you wanna go ahead and add another image to this. Well, all you need to do is just copy this right here and then go ahead and type return and then just add it right under it as you can tell and then just maybe add um so i'm adding about 300 milliseconds to each one so so we can do about um 900 instead um and then you what you would do is just replace this url and just add another one and that's pretty much it but since for this video we're just doing um four images that we're swapping between i'm just going to leave it as is um, and that's all set. And then we're gonna click publish and we're gonna have this set to singular cause it's gonna be just on that specific page, which is something that I recommend um, to just not have it loaded on each page cause it can slow down your website. Um, I forgot what I call this um, something images, I think. Yeah, so image swap multiple. So let's save that and add it to our, um, our page there. Perfect. And now let's go ahead and test this out. So let's preview this. And now if we just hover over this, it should work automatically. So there we go. And it's all set. Now we're only doing this to one of them. Um, so if you did want to set it up for other ones, you can as well. You're just going to do the same process. Um, just make sure that you use a different class for each um, image whenever you're doing multiple images. Uh, multiple image sections or containers, whatever you want to call it. Um, so just keep that in mind that you that you very importantly use different classes for each um, container image. Okay, 
Now that's pretty much it. If you guys do have any questions on this, just feel free to comment down below and I'll definitely try to help you guys out. If you guys did enjoy this uh, video, make sure to like it for the YouTube algorithm. It is greatly appreciated. It only takes a few seconds um, and it means a lot. So hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys in the next one.